Not to beat last year's Premier's Essendon by 18 points. That's when the Demons were stringing together five wins on the trot at the start of the season. This time, Essendon further weakened by injury, but also the Demons without Alan Jakovic. Let's take a look at some highlights of the first half from the MCG. The field already. Here's a quick on. change and kill Patrick on. So centre wing, Viney gets it to Dyson. Dyson, the long kick in the line. Oh, gee, that was magnificent use of the body by Lyon to go back and take that mark. What a start to the Demons if he can kick this for their third. He's only 25 metres out. Oh, he's put it right through the middle. Well, Dines to Dyson. Can the Demons again take it out of the centre? Dyson caught, grabbed the throw, Essendon free kick. Advantage paid. They need something to happen quickly. Dead him up towards full forward. Good mark, Cummings. Distance not a problem. It's a goal. The Bombers on the scoreboard. Kick out of the pack from O'Donnell. Kicks it up towards midfield. Phoebe. Matthew. Now it's Stephen who takes the mark. Stephen Phoebe from left centre wing. Excellent vision. Guess who he's found? Matthew. Can he make it three? Low trajectory. Drop punt. Yes, he can. Great goal. Three in the first quarter. Marking contest at half forward. Simons tries to paddle it forward. Bring it in. Charge. Great speed. Gets clear, shoots at goal, but misses. Why has he got it? It's there! Kicks into the square, Schwartz the target, and marks! Angle's going to be a problem. Runs around, kicks. Has he got Melbourne seventh? Yes, he has! By uh, Primke. Todd Viney and Barry Young. Stephen Phoebe comes in to lend assistance. Wang it in. The Brownlow Medlars, this should be a goal to Cummings. He's got a turn and kick. He does and he puts it through. Great goal. A high kick travels only 35 metres. Wang it in. Can he do something here? Great hand pass to Cummings. The same two. The same result. Well, Melbourne made a great start, seven goals to three in the first quarter, and at half-time their lead is 17 points, 9-4-58 to six goals, 5-41. We're going to pick up the replay at the start of the second half, and joining Peter Landy and Peter McKenna in commentary, Terry Wheeler. Very cool conditions at the MCG as we start the third quarter. 17 points the difference in favour of Melbourne. Steins looks for Cow, two good knock-ons. See the ball almost at the edge of the square, Masiti. Despite the tackle, at the Simons, oh, big bounce, got it back to Grenville. He looked for a hand pass to kill Patrick, wasn't a good one, but it went to Alessio instead. Simons, from right half forward, oh, Steins did well for his other overseas compatriot in white. That's a terrific kick, distance-wise and direction-wise. Cow takes the mark. Cow on right centre wing was met very heavily by Delaney in the first quarter. He got up and recovered. Danaher off the ground. Kicks it back to uh, Cow. Dragged Great out tackle. by Buick. Denham applies a tackle. And it's all tied up off the edge of the centre square. Todd Viney hands the ball back to the umpire. Vernon Carey and John Harvey. The umpires this afternoon here at the MCG before a pretty good crowd. The footy's warm, but the weather's not. Stephen Phoebe, 8-6. That's his ninth kick now. Oh, great mark! Schwartz! Where did he come from there? A ripper, Mark. Hey? I didn't even see him, and uh, he gets in to take this mark over Thompson. Terrific. He just throws himself in at every contest, doesn't he? Even the photo on the back of the paper during the week, just throwing himself around so acrobatically. Has some fine athletic qualities, this young man. To David Schwartz, he's kicked two goals, two. Third of the Demons' best and fairest in 1992. He's got that one. That's his third. And that's the start that Neil Barham would have liked to begin the third quarter. Melbourne 10-4, Essendon 6-5. And they've jumped just as they did at the start of the game in the first quarter. Very aggressive in at the ball, being prepared to work in. And the two Phoebe boys being the main instigators of the thrust forward. Schwartz using his reach advantage ahead over Thompson and a great goal from a long way out. So just to start, the Demons want it. At the start of the third term, there's Graham Yates. Ooh, they've tried to crash through. That was Hilton. 
is Wanganeen, who's responsible for a couple of Essendon. Well, two handballs he gave to Cummings for uh, Gimme Goals. Yeah, Essendon just need a little bit more of that type of magic right around the ground and not rely on just Wanganeen to be the provider of that. So the bounce halfway between centre of the ground and half forward for Essendon. And that's Primke trying to press his way through. And another deadlock, and the umpire will bounce again. Melbourne have looked the better side, Terry. Oh, they have. They, they definitely have right throughout. The, the way in which they've got their goals, they've flowed forward and been able to score, whereas Essendon seem to have really had to battle through the midfield. So there's Sean Genham, a quick kick to the half-four line. Phoebe Smothers now. A hand pass. Comes to Todd Viney. Todd Viney to centre wing. Masidi flies at the back and it comes off hands. And I hesitated on that Phoebe. I think it was Stephen Phoebe who gave that original hand pass. Great to see Bomber Thompson give young Masidi a bit of a spray there for not spoiling from behind but trying to mark over the top of Cal. Salmon, oh, I did that well to get it to Denham. Good ruck play by Paul Salmon. Here's Alessio at the back, very mobile on the Grenbold. Grenbold sets sail for home and David Grenbold has missed. It just bounced alongside of the post. Uh, the South Australian disappointed with that kick. They could have done with it. The Mummers, they trail by 22 points. 22 points the difference and 16 and a half minutes left in the term. Melbourne kicking 7-3 in the first quarter to 3-1. An excellent turn by them. And uh, it was Matthew Phoebe to get them going. His brother Stephen kicks in. Steins, who's having a pretty good afternoon, but a good battle with Salmon when they've been together. Love it. In front of Kilpatrick. Now to Matthew Phoebe. Target is Schwartz. Oh! One hand and almost. Umpire didn't play it. Chance for Delaney. Ball kicked off the ground. Out of bounds on the full no. Must have just landed inside. Sean Charles, well, not remarkable stats for him this afternoon. Hasn't been able to get into the play that much. Ruck contest, 50 metres from goal. Schwartz and Danaher. One by Danaher. Dyson at the back. Try to get onto his left foot. A high kick travels only about 35 metres. Manton, good spoil to get it away from line. He's getting a free kick. Come on. Well, I pose the question to you two guys. What else could he do? Well, I pose the question. Well, let's see if he's hot now. He's not holding. Then he's coming at him. Oh, goodness me. What is the game coming to? What do you think, Terry? No, there, there was no free kick there. And uh, the one-on-one -on -one contest, the umpires have got to be sure that there is a free before awarding them. Lyon kicks his fourth goal. So the Demons go further ahead at the MCG. 11 4 to 6 6. Malcolm Bly joins them. There's someone, another getter player is in close to the set. I spoke to a couple of former star players at half time, and they're in sets by the standard. So here's Schwartz. Brilliant in towards full forward. Lyon at the back. Gary Lyon did it well. Play by Lyon. That is a brilliant goal. A top goal. It was a top goal, Pete, but the contest between those two players was very, very similar to what they were doing before. Awesome. And it was play on. Five goals for the Melbourne champ. And that was class. I think you've called it accurately here, Peter. There, there is no difference whatsoever in this contest as the one that was previously nine, occurred. Exactly the same. And this time the umpires allowed it to play on. Totally inconsistent. Well, the result was the same anyway. Gary Lyon, five goals. The Demons are on fire at the start of the third quarter. Cow went to barge his way through. Sam had a chance. Now Kilpatrick. Cow again. Oh, great stuff. But they're losing some ground, but not too many fans. T terrific start again to the third quarter. Matthew Phoebe heard in that marking contest. And he gets up uh, holding his right wrist. Ooh, that would have hurt. Especially with the temperature hovering about the uh, 10 degree mark. But the Phoebe's have been the stars for Melbourne, especially in that first quarter. Jimmy Steins. Steins at right centre wing. Stephen Phoebe 11 and 7, Matthew 9 and 6 there, stats. And there's Schwartz. 
And he hasn't done much wrong today. Nine kicks and six marks. Too far out to score. In fact, uh, Matthew Phoebe coming off the ground after that marking contest. Let's hope he's OK. Delaney. Had it underneath him. Cowell again. Taken out of it by Manton. Bomber Thompson. That was too high, was it not? Charles tries to break away. And Thompson will take the free kick at... Uh, just up from the full back line. Seven and three for the Essendon veteran. He goes short to the member stand side. Sam and the target. Steins went with him. Doesn't come up with the football. Norrish, quick hand pass away to Hilton. Onto his left foot. Good centering kick. Lyon leads out well. Punch away by Manton. Masiti and Cow into the arms of Charles. He goes. Six, 40 points the difference. A very fine sharpshooter is uh, Sean Charles, but the most impressive part of this play was the work by Darren Cow. I, I, when it comes here and it's up in the air here, Cow deliberately put it down to Sean Charles. He knew he had the player in position, was able to direct the punch straight to him, and Charles didn't let him down whatsoever. Here we go again from the centre. Seven tries to bring it back. The Demons on top. Brett Lovett, they're playing great football, Melbourne. Lovett looking for line, he smothered that beautifully. Taken by Anthony Danaher. Onto his brother, Chris. Bomber Thompson. To Salmon, and Salmon marks on centre wing. He gives it off to Denham, may need three or four quick goals. Essendon, that is. Oh, good kick, Denham. Oh, not marked by Cummings, he should have marked that one. Back to Kilpatrick. A one-on-one -on -one contest up in the square. Alessio at the back. Read it well. Then couldn't mark. Gilbert gets it to Yates. And Yates finds Steve Phoebe at half back. He's got a Matthew off the ground still after incurring what appeared to be a wrist injury a few minutes back. Now Connor it looks as though preparing to come on for Essendon. Steve Phoebe from the back pocket. Salmon and Stein. Salmon the stronger on this occasion. Takes the mark. Being hooted. For what reason, I know not. Oh, Simons. Good attempt to mark. Is he being paid? No. Stephen Phoebe. Does the tidying up work for Melbourne. Steins! Good mark over Salmon. And you don't often say that. This is Dyson. Usually a pretty good kick. No mark taken there. Chris Danaher for Essendon. No one to give it to. So straight along the ground. Oliver Renshaw was nearest, but he was covered by Tingay, and so a throw in 55 metres from goal. The Demons by 40 points, and we're not yet at the halfway mark of the third quarter. Just at the back of the uh, contest here, you could see Brian Wood, the Essendon runner, with a piece of paper in his hand, trying to fit, figure out the next move that Kevin Shetty wants him to complete. Thompson's kick, oh! Lands half a millimetre inside the line. He's tossing them around everywhere at the moment. Barry Young has come from the forward line. He's going back onto uh, to Gary Lyon at full back. Uh, Ryan O'Connor standing up at the interchange bench, ready to come on. Salmon and Stein wrestling. Norrish. Now Grenvold. Todd Viney tackled by Thompson. Back to Norrish at right centre wing or closer to half forward. Kicks it to the forward pocket. Cummings a chance. Two hands to it. Recovers well along the boundary line. Almost out of bounds on the full. Came off, I think. His, uh, his thigh, I think it was Barry Young, it's out of bounds in the forward pocket, about 25 metres from goal. Gary Lyon, the star of this quarter so far. O'Connor and Schwartz. Lyon looks for a hand pass. Simons is there. Snapshot by Obst. <laughs> Straight into the goal mouth, and the mark is taken by Robert. Well, you make your own luck, don't you? Brett Lovett from point blank range kicks the goal. His second. Melbourne increases its lead. You would think almost to a match winning one. 14 4 to 6 6. Geelong and. So again, the ruck contest. Salmon. Well, he ends up with the ball. Good play by Paul Salmon. Onto the right boot. Brings it to half forward. Simons caught behind. Gilbert did well. Gets it to Hilton. Hilton tried to kick, and the umpire's pinned him behind in the ball. Wang Levine. 
the lead is on by Cummings. Here he comes. Oh, he's dropped another mark. Ooh, Delaney. Caught. But in the meantime, there's a free kick back behind the play here. I think it's going the way of Melbourne. And the umpire telling players to settle down. It's going to Sean Charles. And umpire Grant Vernon giving him a little lecture. So, Charles. Good mark by the big fella. Summer's been good since quarter time. On to O'Donnell. Lovely kick by O'Donnell. He finds Madden 55 metres from goal. He can give it off here into the pocket. That's a good, good lead by Cummings. And a good mark in the end. Promising young full forward. He's kicked three. And dropped two sitters of marks, Terry. Yeah, I just hope that hasn't uh, robbed him of the confidence he was showing him because this one he allowed to come in onto his chest. He may have dropped just a little bit in, uh, in, in the confidence that he had at the start of the game in his approach. Well, the bombers, to say they need this is the understatement of the century. 45 degree angle. Oh, he's missed it. Way out to the right. And hit the behind pace, so it's out in the full. Well, there's enough evidence to suggest that uh, he was going to miss that shot at goal. Halfway through the third quarter now. Kick number 14 for Stephen Freeby. That's a good kick. Plenty of distance in that. Salmon, a hand to it, Lovell. Off the ground, Thompson and Oliver Renshaw for Essendon. And that does the shepherding. Oh, a hand pass a little bit too hot for uh, O'Connor. Back to Bomber Thompson. His left foot. Oh, Simons put in his bit for mark of the day. Didn't bring it down. But this defence of Melbourne's been terrific. Phoebe again kicks up towards centre wing. Cowell overruns the football. Masiti a chance. Cowell again. Still Masiti. Masiti again. And now the umpire's given a free kick. Stephen Tingo to take it. Tingo right centre wing. Schwartz, a juggle, but he's got the mark. Oh, oh, don't do that. And the umpire bringing his opponent back to O'Connor. Schwartz has kicked three goals, two. Gary Lyons got five. He's hit a couple in this quarter. Matthew Phoebe kicked three in the first quarter. Brett Lovett's got two, and Sean Charles one. Kicked in this quarter. Essendon's main goal kicker, Scott Cummings, with three. So David Schwartz for his 72nd career goal. 45 metres out, he's hooked it a little bit. I think it might be still in play. It is. Thompson gives it over to Chris Danaher. On to Grenvold after the tackle. Came there in the back pocket. Steins on his own. Too far out the score, realises that. Chips it in short, looking for Lovell. But Thompson reading the play beautifully, straight down the centre of the ground. And as I said before, the defence of Melbourne has stood firm pretty well. Stephen Phoebe's kick. He's been excellent. Love of the chance to score. Inside 50, onto his right foot. Kicks long and kicks accurately for a goal. He paid a free kick. Yeah, what's happened? He's paid a free kick against the Melbourne player down the square. No goal. Oh. I was looking back up to the centre to see who was going to man up, but uh, no score. Well, now here's Steins, caught. Oh, he threw that. Not by paying the advantage. He did pay the free kick. Here's Buick. On the, oh, the great mark. Kilpatrick. Brilliant mark running back with the flight of the ball. They need a goal here, Peter. Here's Cummings. Oh, good lead. Gee, I'm impressed by this full forward. Again, he lit up the middle and bang, it hit his hands. Kilpatrick off there, Hardwick back on now. Well, he's taken five marks, uh, Scott Cummings. He's kicked three goals, dropped two marks. And uh, let's hope for the sake of the Bombers and himself he kicks this, this one. As a full forward, this is the goal you are paid to kick. Scott Cummings from 45 minutes lays back and he's hooked it. He seemed to lose his footing then. 
He just seemed to slip a bit as he kicked. Yeah, he, he didn't was leaning back there, and I think it was, as you call, mm. a result of his foot at ground level moving slightly. Well, they needed that one, although I think their task looks pretty forlorn at the moment. 42 points, not an impossibility, but the way the player's going, I have to agree with you. Phoebe again kicks in and kicks long. Simons has got the mark. Two Essendon players would have raffled it. Sean Denham. Oh, he's off. He knew it too, and the umpire called him. Centering kick. Gilbert in front. Couldn't take the mark. Hard work. That was optimistic. Now either Renshaw. Left foot snapshot. Won't quite make the distance. And the mark of the last start of defence is taken by Hilton. To Phoebe. Left half back. Denham will stand the mark. He's been excellent this quarter, Stephen. Schwartz. Well, we were talking about the votes at half-time, Pete, and how difficult it was going to be. No one really standing out, but you'd be, I think, considering this guy, wouldn't you, Schwartz? He's best on ground in my book. Steins. Thompson has the fly and has the mark. Delaney. In the Pete Sampras shorts. To Darren Buick. Still he goes. Buick from left centre wing. Oh, the courage. Oh. It was needed. Courage was needed. On the Renshaw down. Hilton has the football. He goes across the ground. He's found the Irishman. The Bradley medalist Jimmy Steins. A quick hand pass on to Graham Yates. Denham comes at him. On to Todd Viney. Viney from left half forward. Around Simons. Looking for options. Love it. Oh. Terrific interception and anticipation. Hardwick in front of Hilton. He hasn't taken the mark, and Hilton will do the tidying up work. Good play by Hilton. Well, oh, this is danger for Essendon. Top mining. Five level. Andy Lovell in the Lions. Good lead by Gary Lyon. And two bites of the cherry. And the Melbourne captain is marked. He's kicked five from seven kicks. Not bad. Well, Jakovic out. The responsibility has been on him, but I can't see Barry Young as a fullback. I think uh, Shooty has just run out of options there, Peter. Oh, Barry Young's a fullback, and then I'm an Olympic canoeist. <laughs> Here's the kick from Lyon. Got Six goals from the Melbourne champ. I wouldn't like that my money on Essendon for anything. No, I think the uh, the game is now ahead of their control. Uh, the Melbourne have come out and kicked the first the five goals straight in this quarter. I think Jim Stein's his mobility around the, the midfield has been an instigator in that. And I'd certainly look at perhaps Manton now coming up to man on the Steins and Salmon down into the forward line to see whether he could pluck a mark and kick a goal. Melbourne kicking eight of the last nine goals. Alessio, Delaney's there to Simons from midfield. He'll be looking for Cummings. White man's up on him well. Gilbert gets back quickly. Manton should kick a goal inside the square and does. That fire isn't it up. Norrish lost it. Denham likewise. Norrish regains his composure and comes out with the football. Kicks to half forward. A oh, great mark taken by Grenfell running with the flight of the ball. Has a bounce. Straight down the centre of the ground, Buick, Hilton, Alessio overruns it, Charles comes in, went without the football, Oliver Renshaw dives on top of it, and the umpire will bounce it at midfield. Just wide at the centre square, four and a half minutes left in the third term, Melbourne 15-4, great kicking, and Essendon 7 goals, 7, 49 points. Bounce favours neither side, kick out from Charles. Back into the side and back into form, maybe. To level. Well, he had a goal before. It wasn't allowed. Nearly tripped up there. Still he goes, Andy Lovell. Brings it around. And this time he's got the goal. Yes, sir. Great kick. Well, we're not going to take that one off him. 16-4, 100. The Demons crack the tongue. Essendon, 7-7, 49 trailing by 51 points. 
and, and a great goal there from Andy Lovett. I think what you can see now if, at the stadium here, just the whole Melbourne side really now gaining confidence in each other. They're all moving together, they're running strongly, and their ability to finish the work off has been first class. Well, they've taken a miracle now for the Bombers. Wanganeen, he's done a couple of nice things, but well, I don't know whether he's a midfield player, at, you know, Hardwick. He's got the ability, but he just doesn't seem to fire as well up there. The big kick in towards full forward. Taken away by Sean White. Here's Hilton. Back across goal. Steve Phoebe. Kicks to the space. Steins and Seven. Oh, look at the agility of Big Salmon. Well played, Paul Salmon. The kick finds Denham by an ordinary hand pass. That was Norris. Now Buick. Wangadine. Well played by Wangadine. Delaney with pace. From 50 metres, Delaney kicks a goal. And it's touched by Cummings and White. And four through for one behind. Only three minutes now left in the quarter. And 100 plays 50. Some nice symmetry about the scoreboard. 50 points the difference. And if you're a mathematics student following Essendon, I don't think you'd be too impressed. Yates. Thought about giving it to Steve Beebe. Goes to Lovett instead. Lovett from left half-back flank. Sean Charles, the target. Well, I've got behind his man, Thompson. Still comes down with the football. On a cow. It was met solidly by Delaney in the first quarter. Recovered OK. This is Norris. Oh, beautifully weighted kick. And Gary Lyons says thanks very much. He's kicked six goals, the skipper. Had a particularly good quarter. And leading out well is Schwartz. As Peter McKenna said, his opinion, best on the ground. Oh, no doubt. Funny old kick as rain starts to fall and bounces through. <laughs> well, when you're hot, you're hot. Foster's 1994 AFL Premiership season. The Demons by 77 points, their third biggest win ever over Essendon. Lyon kicked eight goals and Schwartz kicked five. Phoebe kicked three, that's Matthew Phoebe. And for Essendon, Cummings kicked four goals. Barry Young reported for disputing an umpire's decision.